Evening, it's George Heller, West 80 South Falls. Uh, December 30th, it's about 4.30 in the afternoon, I guess, early evening. I uh, just thought I'd make a quick video. Uh, just put some salt blocks or mineral blocks out here. I haven't really had much of a mineral program at all. Once in a while I'd have some all-purpose mineral, but um, didn't have it out here enough. And when I'd put it out here, the sheep would go after it, and then the cattle would come up, and I thought the cattle were going to pretty much kill the sheep. So I just took everything away from them. Um, so I'm going to work on trying to get their mineral up so that uh, when I put the sheep back together with them, I can keep giving them all mineral and uh, they won't kill each other because they won't be going for it so much. The sun's just setting right now. Um, I'm going to talk about this water here. Um, just got this dug in like I want to say, I don't know, a week ago, two weeks ago, uh, during the a blizzard. And so what I did here is this tank here is sitting inside of a, a two foot diameter culvert and it's 10 feet down or long. Uh, it's sticking out of the ground as much as that tire is showing. Um, it's going down to the water table and then what I have is I have an eight inch drain tile uh, buried all the way to that gray building down there. And then I have a one inch water line just like that one there. That was my above ground line for summertime. I'm going to be abandoning that stretch of it. Uh, but anyways I got that one inch water line running in that drain tile and that's buried at groundwater level which is like five feet down it's like five feet down to the bottom of the trench all the way up to here and then the tube goes all the way down nine feet down to water um, I don't know if you guys can see that but there's actually vapor coming off of the water in there they must have just been up here watering not too long ago um, but it's like 14 degrees Fahrenheit out right now, and, and there's no there's no ice on it at all. That tire, it's not insulated. That's something I want to do. Um, just kind of devising a way to do it, kind of piecemealing this thing together. Um, this morning I came out here and it was 12 degrees above and there was like an inch and a quarter of ice across the whole thing uh, so I just broke that out and you know opened it up for them and then so that went all day I was out here a little bit earlier today like three o'clock and there was just a little skin of ice on there nothing they couldn't push their noses through or anything just a little you know, maybe an eighth inch of ice. And, you know, right now it's 4.30 and it's perfectly clear. They could come up and get a drink anytime they want right now. Um, so, still working on that. Got to get this tire insulated. And then I do have another tire surrounding it down there. That's not insulated either, but I'm thinking that I need to dig around this tube like five feet down and then uh, put a bunch of insulation around it so yeah I'll be working the bugs out of it seeing what's going on it was just like really really cold last week like 15 below zero and stuff like that so I didn't get this going until after that passed it supposed to be like 27 28 degrees tomorrow so it should be pretty nice um still just gonna wait for a nice warm sunny day and then i'm gonna try to get some insulation 
spray foam is what I'm going to try to do. Drill holes in the tire and then uh, squirt spray foam in there with my spray foam gun. I'm going to try that out. But uh, uh, well, the sun's gone down now. It's just barely there. But uh, got the cattle out here. I'll just, it's a little way. I don't want to walk out. So I'll just kind of I'll zoom in and we can just take a look at them. I fed them one of those uh, sorghum sedan oats and pea bales out there. And this bale actually, it's pretty good. They're really eating it well this time. Um, it unrolled really well. Uh, it must have just been made well. And then it kept well. So, kind of wobbling, zoomed way in. So couple on the other side of that brush but yeah so they're over there in basically a big thistle patch it was just God, like solid thistles over there this summer um so i've been unrolling some hay like uh where is it i've been unrolling some hay like out on top of this hill out here trying to build some fertility there's just all that all that that's all thistles all those stalks you see out there it's all thistles big old uh bull thistle i think is what it's called um wish it was canadian thistle because the sheep will nail that canadian thistle if you put them in on it they like it but yeah well i just thought i'd give you a quick look at that watering system um let me know what you think uh have a great night see ya